This is one of the largest and most advanced infectious disease research centers in the world. So we normally wear, or we always wear in our labs, two sets of gloves. Virologist Daryl Falzarano follows the strictest biosafety protocols to work with potentially deadly pathogens. He's the lead investigator in the search for a vaccine for the novel coronavirus. This is a containment level three lab at Vito Intervac where we would work on viruses like novel, uh, the novel coronavirus from China. Scientists are making their own synthetic version of the novel coronavirus in order to begin research, but... Having a case in Canada may improve our access to getting virus, which is a lot faster than reconstructing it ourselves. The scientists are expecting the National Microbiology Lab in Winnipeg to ship them a sample within the next few days. Correct, or, or even... Some Recently, this samples. lab developed a vaccine for a coronavirus that killed 10 million pigs in North America. And scientists also worked on a potential vaccine for SARS. So SARS came, spread globally, and then went away very quickly, and there was never another case. So far, it looks like a SARS vaccine would not protect against this novel coronavirus. Um, we don't know that for sure yet, but that's, that's sort of the general feeling at the moment. But information from that research will be useful. All of the air, all of the water, all of the waste has to be treated before it leaves the building. This sophisticated lab costs $18 million a year for its research. In order to actually manufacture vaccines, it would need more money. Because we don't have capacity in the country, or not as much as we used to have. So when these situations like this one arise, um, we have to go to other countries to get our technologies manufactured in those countries. So it's really a bottleneck right now for public research like ours. The goal for now is to create a vaccine prototype within six to eight weeks, then test it on animals. But can you actually expedite the process? So everyone can work as hard as they can and as fast as they can, but things Certain processes take a certain amount of time, and that's really hard to work faster than that. Human trials are at least a year away. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Saskatoon.